India moves to recover $345 million cillion in taxes from Kraken and other foreign crypto exchanges. Cryptocurrency Exchange, Cryptocurrency Regulations India. India's Financial Intelligence Unit is pursuing seven overseas cryptocurrency exchanges, including Kraken and Bitfinex, for $345 million in unpaid goods and services tax, GST. Last updated September 12th, 2024 at 1812 GMT. Three, author Jimmy Aki, author Jimmy Aki about author Jimmy has nearly 10 years of experience as a journalist and writer in the blockchain industry. He has worked with well-known publications such as Bitcoin Magazine, CCN, B-U-S-I-N, E-S-S-2-C-O-M-M-U-N-I-T-Y. Author profile. Share copied. Uh, last updated September 12th, 2024 at 1812 GMT3Y. Trust Crypto News with over a decade of crypto. Coverage Crypto News delivers authoritative insights you can rely on. Our veteran team of journalists and analysts combines in-depth market knowledge with hands-on testing of blockchain technologies. We maintain strict editorial standards, ensuring factual accuracy and impartial reporting on both established cryptocurrencies and emerging projects. Our longstanding presence in the industry and commitment to quality journalism make Crypto News a trusted source in the dynamic world of digital assets. Now read more about Crypto News. India's Financial Intelligence Unit, FIU, took decisive action to recover $345 million in goods and services tax GST from seven foreign crypto exchanges, including Kraken, Bitfinex, and Mexi Global operating in the country. Uh, this enforcement measure comes after several warnings issued to these exchanges regarding their failure to comply with India's tax laws. The exchanges involved, such as Kraken, Bitfinex, Mexi Global, Huobi, Gate.io, Bittrex, and Bitstamp, were banned from offering cryptocurrency services in India. As part of the regulatory process, these platforms will now need to demonstrate compliance with Indian financial regulations, specifically the Prevention of Money Laundering Act, PMLA. Foreign exchanges face regulatory hurdles in India. According to reports from the Economic Times, Hearings will soon determine whether these exchanges can resume operations in India. The exchanges will need to present their cases showing compliance with the PMLA and demonstrating that they can fulfill the reporting obligations required under Indian law. However, compliance with these regulations alone will not guarantee their return to the Indian crypto market. The exchanges must also pay fines with the amounts to be determined based on their submissions during the hearings. The FIU seeks to recover approximately 2,900 Indian rupees crores, equivalent to $345 million in unpaid GST liabilities. The Indian government has focused on recovering these taxes due to the exchange's failure to pay GST on transaction fees collected from Indian customers before being banned from operating in the country. Earlier this year, the FIU asked Binance to pay $86 million in GST and a $2.25 million fine to resume its services in India. These foreign entities are subject to the same GST rules as Indian businesses. This means they must register under India's GST framework and pay taxes on services provided to Indian clients just as domestic exchanges do. India's strong crypto adoption and future outlook for foreign exchanges. Amid these regulatory hurdles, India's leadership in global crypto adoption remains undisputed. According to the Chainalysis Global Crypto Adoption Index, India ranks first among countries in terms of cryptocurrency usage, even with a 30% crypto capital gains tax and a 1% tax deducted at source TDS. India's crypto ecosystem has continued to operate despite these challenges, driven by activity on centralized exchanges, decentralized finance, DeFi platforms, and peer-to-peer -peer trading. However, the introduction of strict tax measures in recent years has driven some Indian investors to international exchanges where tax regulations are often less stringent. In response, India's GST authorities have begun considering sending notices to other foreign exchanges to ensure comprehensive compliance within the sector.
Earlier in September, reports suggested that the FIU reviewed registration requests from four additional foreign crypto exchanges with two expected to receive approval um, to operate in India by the end of the 2025 financial year. Follow us on Google News.